guys, I'm John. And today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Baffled Oil Catch Can System on the 2015 Subaru WRX. To really round out your WRX's cooling system, we also recommend installing the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit, offered in either thermostatic and non-thermostatic options. Tools needed for install include two and a half millimeter Allen key, 10 millimeter deep socket, quarter drive two inch extension, quarter drive ratchet, 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, 12 millimeter deep socket, 3 8 drive six inch extension, 3 8 drive ratchet, flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, and dikes. Install time is about two hours, and install difficulty is a four out of five. Remove the two plastic pop clips using a flathead screwdriver holding down the DIT beauty cover. Remove the two pop clips holding down the intake duct. Remove the two 10 mm bolts for the DIT cover mounting bracket. Remove the serpentine or drive belt. The tensioner is a 14 mm. Take note to how the belt is routed before removal. Disconnect the AC compressor clutch connector and undo the wire loom tie down clips. Remove the four 14 mm AC compressor bolts and engine hook. Disconnect the crankcase vent hose under the AC compressor using needle nose pliers. Remove the vent hose pop clips on the intake manifold using a flathead screwdriver. Using needle nose pliers, remove the vent hose from the plastic turbo inlet housing. Install the supplied silicone hose under the AC compressor with one warm gear clamp. Tighten down the worm gear clamp with a flathead screwdriver and route the hose. Reinstall the four 14 mm AC compressor bolts and reconnect the AC compressor clutch connector. Install the supplied silicone hose into the plastic turbo inlet housing with a worm gear clamp and route it across the top of the engine. You're going to want to make sure to place the worm gear clamp on the hose before you attach it. Install the catch can inlet and outlet fittings using a 17 mm wrench. Remove the 10 mm battery tie down nut. Using a 2.5mm Allen key, attach the application specific mounting bracket to the catch can using the two 2.5mm Allen bolts. Using the battery tie down, mount the can onto the battery tie down with one 10mm nut. Install the hose coming from the plastic inlet housing into the out port of the Mishimoto catch can. Attach the hose coming from the crankcase vent to the in port of the catch can. Now tighten the two worm gear clamps holding the Mishimoto silicone hoses to the can with a flathead screwdriver. Loosen both the hot and cold side worm gear clamps at the intercooler with a flathead screwdriver. Remove the right side intercooler hold down bracket, three 12 mm bolts. Remove the one 12 mm bolt holding the left side intercooler hold down bracket in place. Loosen both the inlet and outlet clamps of the intercooler using a flathead screwdriver. Remove the intercooler completely. Using needle nose pliers, remove the PCV hose completely. On the passenger side of the car, remove the two pop clips holding the Fender Beauty Shield in place. Remove the air box hold down 10 mm bolt. Now install the catch can mounting bracket with the M logo to the fender using two 10 mm bolts. Install the catch can inlet and outlet fittings using a 17 mm wrench. Install the catch can onto the catch can M logo bracket using the two 2.5 mm Allen bolts. Route the supplied silicone hose from the PCV valve to the in port of the Mishimoto catch can. The PCV valve is mounted on the back of the engine block. You're going to want to make sure to have one worm gear clamp already attached to the silicone hose before you slide it onto the PCV valve. Route the supplied silicone hose with the straight section from the intake manifold to the out port of the catch can. Again here, you're going to want to make sure you have a worm gear clamp on the hose before you attach it to the fitting. Attach both silicone hoses to the proper ports of the catch can using two worm gear clamps. Again here, you want to make sure you have the worm gear clamps on the silicone before putting them on the fittings. Reinstall the passenger side beauty cover to the fender using the two pop clips. Reinstall the intercooler, making sure that the hot side and cold side are properly slid into place. Next, you're going to reattach the hold down brackets using the four 12 mm bolts. Tighten down both worm gear clamps on the inlet and outlet side of the intercooler using a flathead screwdriver. Reroute the serpentine belt. Note that the tensioner is a 14 mm. Attach the two provided tree clip zip ties to the crossover hose and cut with a pair of dikes. Reattach the DIT cover mounting bracket using two 10 mm bolts. Reattach the intake duct with two pop clips. 
Reattach the plastic DIT beauty cover using the two pop clips. Now that you've installed your new Mishimoto baffled oil catch can system, Mishimoto recommends checking the accumulation every 1,000 miles until the baseline is established. Oil accumulation will depend on ambient temperature and driving conditions, so it's best to check frequently. <laughs>